All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Movie Night Weekly. Happy to have everybody joining us once again. My name is Neil Driscoll. I am your host. My co-host, Al Roberts, is uh, out again. Uh, something about uh, a case of the rickets. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the rickets are. I don't know what rickets... I think that's a sport they play in London. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Not, uh, I, don't, I, tend, I tend not to pay attention too much to, uh, to, to, to sports from across the pond, or, or, or in general, more of, a, uh, more of an indoor person myself. Uh, the, the film and the cinema is, is um, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have Gary Gold, local stand-up comedian. Gary, how are you? Yahoo! I'm ready to be here. Uh, and uh, for, for folks uh, uh, tuning in just now, I, I believe that is your... Uh, your catchphrase, correct? Yeah! Yeah, it really, you know, it's all about excitement and it's all about energy. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, you can catch him performing, uh, I want to say all around town, but I actually don't know uh, how often you perform. Oh, I am performing all the time. I'm constantly booking gigs. You just turn around. I'm probably going to be there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm performing at uh, Capelli's. Uh, so they got a little oh, stage the over Italian, in the back. the Italian mm -hmm. bistro, Capelli's. I didn't know that they were putting on X. Oh yeah, it's, it's really funny there. You're there for a date, I'm there, I'm zinging everybody, yeah. working for Alfredo. <laughs> working for Alfredo. Uh, I knew a guy uh, named Alfredo. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> passed away. Yeah, passed away. We are here to talk about this week's rental recommendation. Mm. We have The Elephant Man. This is a uh, David Lynch film shot in uh, vibrant black and white. <laughs> Just light, a uh, little uh, light humor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stick to this. It's, um, let's, uh, let's roll the clip. Is this a time machine? It's a VCR. Lots of people have these. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand how this works. I have one myself. Well, I hope so. Yeah. This gets a little hungry. Feed me. <laughs> Locked and loaded. All right. So, so, so. Not getting any feed. Oh, they just can, didn't come with an instruction manual, huh? It actually does come with an instruction manual, but I lost it. <laughs> Bet you can't even read with those glasses. Yo! I don't appreciate that. And I can't read. The Elephant Man tells the story of a severely deformed fellow who was rescued from a freak show by this guy. The film does a fantastic job of making the elephant man look really weird, which at times made the film difficult to watch. But most importantly, the film's message is one of compassion and the importance of treating others with respect. Overall, while I did find the elephant man to look really gross, I guess I enjoyed the film. And that was the <laughs> elephant man. This movie is hilarious. I love it. I disagree, uh, you know, and, no. so, and we can't agree on everything on this show, and that's uh, that's sort of a, 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 a something that we foster. We, we foster a opening up a dialogue, having a discussion. Uh, I did not find the film uh, hilarious. I found it uh, quite sad and and frightening with the face of the of the elephant boy, uh, the elephant man. My goodness, uh, quite grotesque. Completely covered up with boils and protuberances, protrusions, and, um, and uh, did I mention boils? I thought it was hilarious. I mean, the man's face. Uh, it yeah. is. <laughs> and as you can see right there from the cover, um, the, the elephant man wears a mask with one singular hole cut out of it because one of his eyes is completely useless. I, I think you should probably be wearing one too. Yo! The elephant man doesn't enjoy being an elephant man. Uh, and I'd have to say that I, I don't quite think I'd like to be an elephant man myself. Yeah, I think it'd be easier to get, uh, get some attention, you know? You think that you would possibly enjoy being an elephant man 
Well, I mean, right now it's hard being so handsome and doing stand-up. Yeah, everybody's just like, oh, why is this guy doing that? Shouldn't he have a degree? Shouldn't his degree not have worked out? And then that's why he's not on stage, you know what I'm saying? No, no. Yeah. He's got one eye, you got four eyes. What is that? Yo! Gotta love that catchphrase. Catch, it's sort of a catch sound, I guess, and not uh, sort of a... Less of a, less of a catchphrase and more of a uh, loud sound, I guess you could say. Anyway, uh, Elephant Man, I give it uh, a thumb up. I had a blast. Um, a, little, a little bleak at times. Uh, and, and also, uh, sometimes I felt uh, encouraged to look away from the screen. Uh, and I'm talking about the moments when the Elephant Man himself uh, is sort of taking up uh, some of the space. I thought I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather look, I'd rather look away. <laughs> I, I couldn't stop watching. I mean, everybody's there. Everybody's at a circus. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, 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 da, you know. And talk about choking your meat. That's. I always wanted to grow up in the circus. It doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in an affluent, uh, affluent home. Totally ruined me. But right now, I'm doing well. When I watch this film on my TV, I got a big TV. You understand? Because things are going well for me. I just couldn't, I could not stop laughing with my wife and several daughters. Excellent. Uh, and you are, you have a gig coming up. Uh, so I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing six, uh, six tight minutes at Ponticello's. And that's in the back room. Well, that's in a back room for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to be opening up for uh, Sylvester... Zipper. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Movie Night Weekly. Uh, my guest host today has been Gary Gold. Yo! Uh, Am I coming back next week? Uh, we're booked. We'll be booked. Uh, speaking of next mm. week, though, we have a sneak peek at what we'll be reviewing. Uh, this is the first time uh, taking a look at this. We have, uh, let's see if we can do a little, um... Oh, no. no. We'll, uh, tune in next week to see, uh, to see what, uh, cause, to see what we do. I don't think we're gonna be doing this. I don't think this is, um... I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs>